Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, and welcome to the video for what is redirect vislog. So if I'm going to run my example here, we're going to see I have two sets of entries down here in my visual log for my classes. I have a player controller third person character capturing things and my BP vislog. And you can see them all capturing information while we are logging. Great. No problem there. Everything's working as expected. However, let's say I want my BP vislog, which is this item right here, which is going to log some things not to have its own category. I want things to go in their correct category based on what I'm logging. Well, that's what the redirect vislog is for. So in this case, I'm going to hook it up. After I enable vislog recording, I'm going to redirect all those entries from itself as the source owner to my player character as the destination owner. Simple as that. So now when we save this, this was my previous setup, vislog and third person character. We're going to go ahead and clear that out. We'll hit play. And we'll hit logging again. And now you'll notice everything is under the third person character. It's still recording just like we did before. We just no longer have our vislog entries. We'll stop logging and stop this. We'll go back to here. You'll see we have an entry redirected. And as we go through, we have everything we expected from before in terms of what we're recording. There's all of our actor locations and things like that. Except it's now inside of our player controller rather than inside of our vislog and you can see right here we were recording our actor locations inside of our bp vislog but this says our actor that we're using for that is our third person character because we used our redirect vislog that's it really simple node takes it as the source who owns this vislog and then gives it a new owner for the destination for any of those vislog entries 